Hey guys, Scott Silfnutter here. Welcome to the ROS studio. Uh, today we're going to do another caregiving101.com activity. In fact, we're going to do a dementia activity. And with us today is Colleen Knudsen in from Wisconsin. Yes, thanks for having me. Uh, I appreciate you being here. Colleen is a certified dementia care practitioner. Correct. Um, and want to give a shout out to all the folks in Wisconsin watching right now. Glad you're here watching us. And today, tell us what activity we're going to be doing. So today we are doing a paint bucket. Okay, so before we get into it, mm -hmm. a lot of folks get overwhelmed when they think the word dementia or Alzheimer's or Lewy body dementia yes. and activities, but there's really, it's no different than a lot of activities we may do at home or crafts. It's not. It's, it's going to be making it simple, breaking it down into just smaller steps. So the point is to break it down so we can meet our loved one's abilities. And this is a great activity because you're going to be working as a team. There's going to be some things you will do, some things your loved one will do. Perfect. All right, so let's get started. What, what are we All doing? Right. What do we need? Well, the first thing that we need is a bucket. Okay. You can use a galvanized bucket. You can use a plastic bucket. Okay. Anything you've got laying around. Okay. We need some sandpaper. All right. Paint. Paintbrush. Plate. Plate, because you're going to want to clean your fingers. You're going to get a little bit messy. You know what? I love getting messy. This That's is a, perfect for you. I've, uh, I've said it before. I, I'm really pig pen from um, <laughs> the um, um, Snoopy. All right. So at, uh, all right. Well, so pig pen. Let's get right. going. Fantastic. <laughs> you know, no one's ever called me that to my face. So or, I appreciate that. Or live, right? Okay, live. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, let's go. So the first step is very important. You're going to want to take the sandpaper, and you're just going to want to rub and just scruff up that surface. We've got one side already scruffed up. The other side, I'm gonna let you practice, right. Scott. So, uh, before I do this and start making sound, yep. what if what if my loved one doesn't wanna do this? What if my dad doesn't wanna do this? The great thing about being a team is that this is something you can do ahead of time. Okay. If this is something they don't like doing or they don't have the skill set to do it, make sure they're successful, set them up and do it ahead of time. Okay. So I'm just, I'm roughing it up. And as he roughs it up, you can go up and down, you can do circles. Again, there's no wrong way to do this. And the reason we're roughing it up is? This is a key step because if you skip this part and you just go to adding the paint, the paint is not gonna stick. Okay. I like to skip things sometimes and make the directions my own. This is one step that you should not skip. <laughs> so um, following directions, it, um, are, you, are you the type of person that stops at the gas station to ask when you're lost? <laughs> Or no? Actually, I do. Okay. Yes, Fantastic. I do. Good. I don't Good. like to waste time. <laughs> All right. So did I wrap it up enough? You did. Okay. You did. And this is something, too, if you have maybe um, a male loved one, they love using sandpaper. This is something they can sit and do. If you're going to do more than one, they can sit and they can get this ready for you ahead of time. Because it's something they did their whole lives. We're continuing those lifelong roles. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Yep. All right. So what's next? So next, what you want to do is you want to talk to your loved one and you want to have their favorite colors available. All right. So. I'm a blue guy. I was going to say, what do you like best? I, I, I think I'm becoming a pink guy. All right. But, uh, I love green for the Packers, right? That's, we are uh, reaching out to some Wisconsin yes, people we are, right now. And I love yellow for App State. <laughs> right. That's uh, Appalachian State. So, um, all right. So we've so, got our colors. And we're ready to rock. And you can put it in a paint palette like this. You can use it on a piece of cardboard. You can do it on a plate. Perfect. But we're going to get a little bit messy. So I'm good. Before you start this activity, make sure that your loved one enjoys that tactile. All right. What we're going to do is I'm going to hold the bucket, okay. and I'm going to have you do the design. So which color would you like to start with? I'll start with blue. Go for it. So what you're going to do. Brush or finger? You can do either. If they don't like using their fingers, that's when you can use this to make them be successful. If they enjoy that tactile, All right. go ahead and dip in. I'm going to do one, too, because I don't want to be left out. All right. And whatever we want to do. Whatever you want to do. You can All do right. any kind of design. If you want, you can do little groups. Dots and group them according to color so so you can have some beautiful stripes squigglies yep all right i'm going to do green that's a technical term by the way squiggly we use a lot of technical terms here fantastic okay so my squiggly lines do not match that's okay and remember they can't do this wrong you want to build them up while they're doing the activity so there's no criticism there's no criticism it doesn't matter if it matches if the designs are different this is their chance to be creative and you want to support that all right and it can be, we can do the whole thing. Oh, hey, look at that yellow and blue to make green. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> that, uh, all right, so, but it can be what, whatever we want. Whatever we, we want. They the can write thing. names, do designs. The fun thing about this is when it's finished, it can be used for a decoration. Or if you spray it with a sealant, it can be used as a cooler. 
if you have a picnic outside or a party, you can fill it with ice if you've got a bigger bucket and put some drinks in it. So then, then you start the discussion of how did you, what did you do for cookouts? Yes. Right? At uh, barbecues or anything you want to do? Yes. The, you don't have to just focus on the craft. It's how can you reminisce and bring about memories while you're doing it. So painting a bucket can turn into an hour-long activity with your loved ones. You're absolutely right. Prevent boredom, prevent behavioral outbursts. Yes. All that good stuff. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. Um, Colleen, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a great me. activity. At, um, guys, if you need more information, there are a thousand activity lesson plans at caregiving101.com. Take care. We'll see you soon.